losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic Hi everyone We're going on an adventure today Stay tuned We're going on a trip <laughs> Woohoo I love taking the ferry Imagine dropping my than it looks. <laughs>
Look at how strange. <laughs> Should be walking through this but I'm alone and I have CPTSD that's one of the things that really sucks is I just feel like I can't really go out and enjoy nature with my anxiety like anyway even with my dog sometimes I just feel a little fearful like whether it be humans or Cougars. <laughs> but we'll do a quick drive through here. Then I need to find a washroom and change, get ready for the concert tonight. parts of Manitoba I miss but I've always belonged here like ever since I was little I've dreamt about living here and I had the chance and then I had to move back and I thought maybe it would be temporary and it turned into seven years of living in Manitoba again but we're back and I hope to never leave <laughs> Like I was saying before, like some of us who just can't tolerate the cold shouldn't be living in cold climates. I mean, for some people it is impossible. Like if you have a large family and, you know, a job that you love and everything else, then...
other adventures I'll take you on someday is like Bouchard Gardens and Victoria is so beautiful and if I'm allowed, I'm sure I'm allowed to film in there. And the aquarium I love so much and Dallas Road and things I have yet to do like the Malahat Skywalk. There's tons of things I haven't done yet in Victoria. As a person who spent a lot of my life biking, I have like respect and I try to be very considerate and I just want to let everyone know that we need to do a lot better of a job of stopping before the stop signs. People stop after and then they look both ways after and you're like close to, look at this tree. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I'm even getting a good view of it. Second you hit a park, the oxygen is just like, I know I'm polluting it right now with my vehicle, but oh, it's like so healing. down the street you smile at someone and you say hello but like for changing lanes like some people won't let you change and then they like 
ride your ass after if you do manage to get in even if you're not cutting them off they could be super far back and people just like freaking speed up and get so angry it's like take a freaking breath man like <laughs> you'll be just fine <laughs> let the person in it'd make your life better it would make everyone's life better if you just like calm the hell down people are just like super entitled like is letting one person in really gonna like if it's gonna make you late or whatever then you just need to time manage better <laughs> there's no point in like harassing people and yelling and all because and flipping people off whoa I just had a weird memory unlocked I was thinking about how some autistic kids kind of have like their own made up language when they're young and I think me and my sibling were doing that or I myself was doing that and one of many things I was told not to do, he told me not to, my dad told me not to do that and I'm trying to think of why. It was probably satanic, everything was uh, a sin from the ultimate hypocrite. 